What is going on YouTube? Bringing you another quick video. This is one that I've been wanting to do for some time. Uh, and yes, I am sitting down. So you might notice something a little bit different uh, right here about the headlights. I was able to find the Mopar OEM LED lights, which I just absolutely love. This one didn't come with it. And I did do a video earlier on, on replacing the stock ones, the ones that are the halogen non-LED package. So you can take a look at that video. These are super easy to swap out. There's I think eight, six or eight tabs that hold the grill in place. You pop it out uh, and uh, the headlights come out fairly easily. The one thing I didn't like about the ones that I had swapped in there, let me show you what they are. Uh, they look nice. These have the halo. They have the built-in uh, turn signal into the halo. But one thing I didn't like is I kept getting flashed. The beam, the light just doesn't look right when you're on the road. And even though I made a bunch of adjustments, I could not get them correctly. Another thing I didn't like is that these are seven inch. And as you know, the JLs now have a nine inch headlight. Uh, so I'm gonna go with these. I put those in, it literally took me, so I don't even think I'm gonna post a video on that. It took me like five minutes to do each side, like I said, six tabs that hold this, this uh, grill in place, then this just pops out carefully. And since I had already swapped the old ones out, I was able to do these in probably 10 minutes for both sides. So I'll post a video if you guys want, but it was super easy. What I'm gonna show you in this video is get them, getting rid of the DRLs. This is something I've been wanting to do uh, because if you remember, I did the fog lights. Now we have the Mopar LED headlights, but we still have the non-LED DRLs and I just don't like these. They don't match the rest of the car now since this is LED, fog lights are LED, headlights are LED. I was able to find uh, two brand new ones takeoffs from another vehicle that had the LED package similar to the headlights and so I'm gonna swap those out. I do have the Taser Mini that allows me to turn on the RLs because if you don't, you're gonna have some issues with them turning off after a little bit also blinking and flashing. So I'm hoping with the Taser, since I was able to program the headlights and they work fine, that I have the same luck with the DRLs as well. One thing that's not working yet on these, and maybe that's the video that I'll show, is the halos. The halos require a fourth wire. If you don't have the, the LED package from factory, uh, you don't have that fourth wire. You only have three, so that's something you need to keep in mind if you do find a set of these uh, takeoffs and you decide to upgrade, you're gonna have to run a fourth wire. There's a couple of ways you can do that from what I've read on the forums. You can go directly to a uh, uh, you know a live line without worrying about plugging it into the OEM, but I do want to do it OEM, so I'm going to order the harness, the factory one, so that I can plug that fourth wire and run that back to the, I think it's a BCM is what it's called, the computer or the module, whatever it is. Anyhow, let's take these off and put the DRO ones on, see how they look and see if they work. So let's go. All right, so the first thing we have to do is take off. There's a bunch of little tabs, plastic tabs, rivets, whatever you want to call them and we have to take out the liner because there is a wiring harness that I'm gonna have to run along the fender. Probably gonna have to pop out the whole fender. Some people say you can do it without, some say you don't have to do it. So I'll take this stuff apart and see what we can do, but there's bolts holding this in place. There's the uh, wheel liner. Probably easier if you take off your tire too. I'm gonna try without taking off the tire. I really don't feel like jacking up the whole thing right now, but uh, let's see how it goes, see if I can get in there. All right, we almost have the whole uh, inner liner here out. And just so you know, there are, I think, one, two, three. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight little plastic tabs. Then you actually, sorry, you have two screws. These are eight that are in there. I think they hold part of the light assembly. And then there's two that go up here. I don't know if you can see it, it might be too dark, but there's two that go in there that also hold uh, the inner liner in place. So you have to take those out. It's eight and 10 uh, millimeter. And then the plastic tabs. These down here, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but these are not very good. They, they bend really easily uh, or they break off. The good news is you can buy those pretty much anywhere for really cheap. So I'm using a panel popper, very handy and uh, definitely helps out. But uh, let's take that off and see if we can uh, get the whole fender off so we can get the light assembly because I have to run the wire. I'm gonna see if we can run the wire without taking the fender off. Uh, but from the videos that I've seen, you do have to remove that, but we'll see. 
All right, we got that inner liner out and it doesn't look like I have to take off the fender, which is awesome. This is the wire, if you can see it, that runs to the headlights over here. Not the headlights, I'm sorry, the DRLs. So I'm gonna pop that off. It just plugs right in here. And I wonder if this one actually works with the DRLs. I don't think it does, but I'm gonna double check. I think the, because the bulbs are different, these are halogens and the other ones are not, uh, it may not work, but I'll pull the other ones out, see if this actually works. So, but we got the liner, that's what it looks like. I did break these two down here, one still on there, but uh, two of them broke, which are the ones that go out the bottom over here. And here you can kind of see, you've got one, two, these little inner tabs, which are tied to this. You're gonna have to probably replace these two because these are rivets, plastic rivets um that come off i'm not too concerned you can buy those for like 30 cents a piece so i'll order some new ones get that on there but that's what it looks like in there there's some of that mud of course pretty cool anyhow let's get the headlight or i'm sorry the drls keep saying headlights and take this off there's gonna be a couple bolts in here you know, this little bracket has to come off too so we gotta take that off i believe and there's one screw right down here. Maybe this is a plastic tab or a screw. I think it's a screw. So we'll take that off and then get those these DRLs out. Now, one thing I did notice, the buy, the seller sent me these little corners, but it looks like these are LED already. That's an LED bulb for sure. So may not have to swap those out. So maybe just the inner piece. So let's see. All right, so hopefully you can see under here, but I've got the little bulbs out just to get that hardness out of the way. This little flap is actually tucked in there, so you have to kind of pull the fender out a little bit and then this drops down. That'll give you access. As you can see, there's two big bolts that go in there, uh, 10 millimeter as well. And then you've got these, I don't know what size these are, so I've got to get the right. This will unhook it from this liner uh, at the top and then you got two up there. Hopefully you can kind of see them. There you go. So there's two up there, two down here and that should release the, the DRL light itself. So let's go ahead and take those off and see if we can get this thing out of here. Yeah, I think we got all the screws that we need to get out. One thing to note, and you're gonna have to be really careful, this is glued with 3M tape over here. So you have to carefully use one of these panel poppers, sort of separate that. But if you look up there, you'll see where the 3M, 3M tape goes. So when you're reinstalling them too, that's something to keep in mind. You're gonna have to, if you want it to be as tight as possible in there so that water and dirt and other things don't go up there, yeah, reinstall that 3M strip. Just buy some at the store, cut it. Uh, it's pretty thin, that'll go on there and then you can press these in there pretty nicely. So I did forget to do that. So that's something I'm gonna have to go get. But once I get that 3M tape cut and separate it from the fender, I uh, should be able to take that light out. And there it is. And yes, my glove did break. So this is the old. There's a little strip I was talking about that is glued to the upper part of the fender, as you can see up there. But if you're careful and you go under here, I nicked the paint a few spots there, but not a big deal. That's where it goes. So now we gotta carefully try to get the other one in. Uh, you look, it looks like you do have to replace that harness. I'm gonna check in a second. I've got the other one over here. So this is the old one. This is the new one that was sent to me. And this one does have the harness. So yeah, the harness is completely different as you can see. Uh, so I do have to pull that harness, which goes back there. Shouldn't be too difficult. Runs above the, the fender inside the fender liner there. And then here's the light. So before I do all that though, I'm just gonna plug it in directly because I do want to test it, make sure that, uh, that this works. So before I go all out and tear everything up. I'm just gonna plug it in directly. You know, this is uh, how the seller sent this and I thought it was just so nicely wrapped. Thank you very much. You know, I forgot the gentleman's name, but uh, he, he just really did a nice job wrapping this. But I'm gonna plug these in real quick, see if they're working. So give me a second while I do that. All right, so it might be a little loud in here. Hopefully it's not super loud. But one thing I have to do is I have to go turn on in the taser that this is a DRL. I had the headlight turned on. So I'm gonna do the DRL now. You have to take it to where the music station is showing. For those that have it, you already know. And I'm trying to remember how you do this again. So here we go. You have to put your mini taser to lighting. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. I don't know how well it's focusing. 
and then I'm gonna put this down for a sec here or edit this out okay I've updated the taser I can see it blinking already over there let's see what that looks like sorry for the mess here wow what a huge difference and I could see the the white strip was working so the turn signals are working I'm not gonna miss these ugly ones let me flash them for you they just don't look good at all okay so the turn signals work let me just test the daytime running light and you can see I still got to plug in the halos I got to get that fourth wire because it only comes with three but this is ugly won't miss that at all and you can kind of see on here I don't know if the camera picks it up but that looks so much better and once I fix the halos the whole front end is LED there. so love it all right so I've got the harness out remember to unplug this you got to pull that little red tab out and then you press down in there and that just pops right out of there this is in here, kind of glued together. Hopefully this will come out. Really don't want to have to take the fender out. There we go. And right through here. I can see why some people take the fender out. It might be a little bit easier. But it does come out without taking the fender off. I really didn't want to fool with that. I've broken so many tabs doing that that I just don't, don't even like to think about that. Here's where I might get a little tricky. There we go. And she's out. So you can see there is a difference in the harness and it's because of the halogen bulbs. The little side LED marker, which goes right here, they're both LED. So the one with the LED package and the one with the halogen are both LED. And this just has a little tab there that you undo. And this pops right out. So we've got one down. I'll put the other light in there, run the high, uh, wiring harness. So the wiring harness is there, as you can see, this was kind of taped in there. It has this little clip. Uh, you can't reuse this one. So you can either order some, I'm just gonna use some zip ties along here. There's plenty of spots for me to use zip ties and, and put that other one secure. Plus remember the liner goes in there. Yeah, so it'll keep it all nice and tight in there. So let me run the other one, put the light in and we're good to go. All right, we got the harness in, and actually, the seller left the clips in there, so I didn't even have to use zip tie or anything. So we got that in. As you can see, it looks pretty good in the front. Just got to clean it. A lot of dirt, of course, from mudding. And I'm gonna get the side marker, little LED side marker here, and we should be good to go. Got this plugged in. Let me test it one more time before we plug everything in. Last thing I want to do is have to pull that out again, so. I'm gonna do one quick test again, make sure this lights up. Well, blinker works, daytime running light works, so let's put it all back together and let's knock out the other side now. Okay, I put everything back together. Wheel liner's back in there, that's just my uh, non-scratch wheel cover, but that was pretty straightforward. Put everything back together and you can see now, it's hard to see it, but it looks amazing. Just gotta fix the halos like I said, but for comparison, as I do the other side real quick, you can see the halogen, uglier yellow light. Obviously didn't match the rest of the stuff, but man, what a difference. Just looks absolutely amazing. And on this one, it's super bright. All right, so let me knock out the other side and we'll be good to go. Looks pretty awesome. We got that inner liner out pretty quickly. As you can see, pretty much the same. Already started working on the old wiring harness since that's gotta come out. Uh, one thing I do wanna show you here, and I hope you can see it. There's a screw right there. I don't know if I showed you earlier, but you need to take that out, and that's what releases a little side marker here. Otherwise, that light won't come out. So this drops down. You just have to pull this out. If you look at the motion that I'm doing, that's why some people just take the fender out, because it is a little easier to run the wiring harness and everything else. I didn't think it was necessary, so I didn't bother to take it off. Uh, but if you pull this out, this will come undone from here, which lets it drop down and it makes it a lot easier. You're gonna have to do the same thing with this upper bracket, sort of pull it out a little bit to give you some of that room to come out, but pretty straightforward. 
Now, I am using a T25 to get most of the screws out. One thing I did want to show you is the skinny ones go on the outer parts. If you can see up there, probably not. But they go down here and the outer parts. The thicker ones, which are these, you can kind of see the difference between these two right here. The thicker ones are gonna go in these holes right there, kind of in the middle of the light. So just keep that in mind. Anything that's gonna make the light really tight will go on the outer and that's gonna be the thinner screw. T25 works on both of them, although I, don't, I do think the other one's a T20, probably a T20, is there a T26, whatever's next. Uh, but I was able to get them off. They're not on, they're super tight. So pretty easy to get them out. So let me take this one out and we'll be done. All right guys, I've got both of them installed now. I just gotta put the fender well back in, but just to show you what that looks like, it is kind of bright, so it's kind of hard to see, but they look amazing. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to capture that. And then all I've got left is the halo for the headlights, which is just that fourth wire, as I mentioned earlier, but I am super pleased. I think it looks pretty awesome. One last thing I want to show you is when you're doing the little side marker screw, you have to make sure this is out of the way. Otherwise, if you put this back up and you don't do that, it's going to be really, really hard uh, to get in there. That's this screw right here. And that screw holds the side marker in place. So make sure you do that before you put this bracket back in there. Otherwise, it's really hard to get in there. All right, there it is. That took about an hour and probably would have been a little bit quicker if I had uh, not been filming. But thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. And that's what it looks like. It looks pretty awesome. Hopefully the camera does it justice, but let me take you, let me take you through here. So I just got the blinkers on. Like I said, the only thing missing now is the halos. So we've got that wire on order. Once that comes in, the full conversion to uh, OEM LED is complete. So I just think that looks pretty awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you on the next one.